Hello everyone, welcome to another video of knowledge of life. Today in this video, we will mainly discuss about the variations in chromosome structure and functions, which is also known as chromosome mutation. Now the genetic variation or the chromosomal variation can be of two types. One of the type is, there is a decrease or increase in the total number of genetic information and the another one is the genetic material remains same but it gets rearranged within the chromosome and remains in the offspring generation and the variation on the basis of the decrease or increase or rearrangement of the chromosomal material or the genetic material there can be four types of variations taking place among them the first one is the deletion now let's talk about deletion when there is a loss of chromosomal segment then that kind of variation is known as deletion on the basis of chromosomal loss the deletion can be of two type one is terminal deletion and another one is interstitial deletion in case of terminal deletion a part of the chromosomal segment is deleted from the terminal part of the chromosome and in case of interstitial deletion, there is a deletion of a part of the chromosome from the region near the centromere. And some of the example of deletion variation in a human individual is the Cryduchet syndrome, where there is a deletion of the short arm of the, or the P arm of the chromosome number 5. Now let's talk about duplication. Duplications result from doubling of chromosomal segments and occurs in a range of size and location. Now, duplication can be of various types. It can be a tandem duplication, it can be a reverse tandem duplication, there can also be duplication in a different arm and there can also be duplication in the non-homologous chromosome that is also known as displaced duplication. Now, in case of tandem duplication, a gene is just copied to adjacent to each other. And in case of reverse tandem duplication, the gene is arranged in the opposite order of the original sequence. That is, if there is a BCD sequence, in case of reverse tandem duplication, there will be DCB sequence and it will just get placed adjacent to this identical sequence. Now, in case of duplication on a different arm, a sequence is copied from one arm to another arm and it gets placed on the different arm of the chromosome. And in case of homologous duplication, there is a sequence copied from one chromosome to its non-homologous chromosome and gets copied on the non-homologous chromosome. Now, one example of duplication is the bar I type in Drosophila. The wild type compound I or of fruit fly is composed of about 750 identical units that is the omatida or facets. Each omatidum is compromised of 20 cells in which there are 80 photoreceptor cells present. The bar phenotype occurs as a result of duplication of the 16A locus of the X chromosome and the bar heterozygote has about 350 facets whereas bar homozygote has about 70. As a result of that, it reduces the number of I facets in the drosophila I and there is a change in shape of the eye. Now let's talk about another kind of variation that is inversion. In this case there is a change in direction of the genetic material along a single chromosome. Now inversion can be of two types. One is paracentric inversion and another one is pericentric inversion. In case of paracentric inversion it doesn't include the centromere and the inversion takes place 
avoiding the centromere region and in case of pericentric inversion it includes the centromere that is if a sequence get inversed then the centromere position can also get changed due to the condition now there are various kind of problems taking place due to the paracentric and pericentric inversion and the crossover taking place during the cell cycle stages now let's talk about the paracentric inversion which doesn't involves the centromere region now what is the effect on crossover product in case of paracentric chromosome inversion most analysis of inversion uses heterozygous inversions although a heterozygous inversion causes no problem in mitosis there can be problem in the meiosis stage in an inversion heterozygote in order for point to point pairing to take place along the length of the chromosome the paired homologous forms an inversion loop at the inverted region the pairing of homologous chromosome is shown for heterozygous inversion in the given figure now during meiosis the paired inverted chromosome forms a loop so that the loci pair with the homologous on the uninverted chromosome now how does this formation of the dicentric bridge take place as we have said before that the chromatids 1 and 3 doesn't took parts in crossover and only the second and the fourth one took part in crossover that is in when the second chromatid is crossed as as we can see in this figure there is a cross between the b and c region and when there is a cross the sequence a b c and it gets crossed with the c d region of the fourth chromatid and the sequence is copied so and there is formation of a b c d and a that is there is presence of two centromere in this fragment of the chromosome now the eccentric fragment formation takes place when the crossover takes place between the a g a f e d and it gets crossed with the b f e g h and there is a formation of eccentric fragment there where there is no presence of centromere and during the segregation phases the things get different because eccentric fragment lacks a centromere and cannot be drawn to either cell pole it will be lost during meiosis and because the two centromeres of the dicentric bridge are drawn to opposite pole the bridge will broken mechanically at a random position with resultant production of two duplication and deletion product in which one or more loci have been duplicated or deleted and according to where the breakage of the bridge occurred with respect with the, to the inverted region and inheritance of one of this product will result in a segmental aneuploidy now in case of a pericentric crossover the sequence is almost same as that of the paracentric crossover in this case also the crossover will take place in the same manner that is the chromatids of 1 and 3 will do not took over part in the crossover and the chromatids of 2 and 4 will took part in the crossover and the results will be of different types but there will be no dicentric bridge formation and no eccentric fragment formation in this case in this case when the crossover takes place between the second and the fourth chromatid there will be formation of a uh, inviable and a viable fragment where in the viable fragment there will be inversion of the gene sequences and in case of the inviable fragment 
देयर विल बी डिलीशन एंड डुप्लीकेशन ऑफ द प्रोडक्ट ऑफ ई एफ जी एच सीक्वेंस एंड द ए सीक्वेंस विल बी डुप्लीकेटेड now in rare cases inversion can alter the phenotype of an individual but about 2% of the human population carries inversions that are detectable with a light microscope and the individuals are phenotypically normal and a very few offspring with genetic abnormalities are observed in this case now coming to the end another type of variation is the translocation where a portion of one chromosome is transferred to another chromosome and translocation can be of two types one is the reciprocal translocation and another one is the robertsonian translocation now in case of reciprocal translocation there is a transfer of a part of a chromosome with another chromosome that is there is a exchange taking place between two chromosome and after the translocation there is no gain or no loss of the genetic information now coming to robertsonian translocation it is a special pattern of translocation involving two acrocentric chromosome and it is also called the centric fusion type or the robertsonian translocation it is a type of reciprocal translocation involving two acrocentric chromosome and typically the break occurs close to the centromere affecting the short arms of both the chromosomes and the transfer of the segment led to one very large chromosome and one extremely small one and the small fragment is usually lost in this kind of cases now one example of robertsonian translocation is the familial down syndrome where a majority of chromosome number 21 is attached to the chromosome number 14 and the robertsonian translocation are confined to the acrocentric chromosomes number 13 14 15 and 21 and it occurs when the long arm of the two acrocentric chromosome fuses at the centromere and the two short arms are lost so hope this video will help you and if you have any kind of query regarding the video you can put a question in the comment box thank you